Hey guys, what's up? It's Maddie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be a tutorial on how to make your own Minecraft render. So this is a blender program. It's so you can like put your skin of your Minecraft character on your thumbnails or just a picture. So I'm going to be showing you the basics of that today. Um, this is a follow up from my old video where I did a tutorial on how to not really a tutorial, I'll just showing you what I do with my thumbnails. I didn't really go into detail how to work Blender. So I'm going to be showing you that today and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to go into the description and you need to find the first link. This is Blender. So this is the program you'll be using. So it'll look like this and all you have to do is just scroll down and then you've got to find where you want to install it. So let's get an installer and you can use this one for Mac and I'm going to get this one, the MSI, and you just get that. So I'm on 16-bit though, so then you just download it and here it comes. So while we're waiting for that to download, the next thing we need to download is Rinra. This is what I did not show you last time, and you need this so you can view your files and easily do all that stuff. So I'm a 64-bit computer, but it just it's just the performance. It works better, but you can choose whichever one you want. If you want to know what your bit is, just go into your control panel and your specs, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to download download WinRAR, this one. It is completely safe. Do, do not worry. I thought it was going to give me a virus, but it didn't. So it would be good to also have a um, virus protector thing. So the next thing you need to do is you need to go to this third link in the description and that is Timmy's Minecraft character. Now it'll look like this, you just scroll down and then you need to download version 4. Now this I this one doesn't work properly, I don't know why but so we just need to download this one. And make sure you download Blender 2.77. So then we just click download and then you just click this. It will bring up an ad but it's easy enough to click off that. Okay, so the download is finally complete. It took me, it took my internet a really long time to do it, like 10 minutes, but um, yours should be faster, is safe. So now the next thing you need to do is install it. So just click it, double click it, tap it once, and then it'll open and you've got to use the installer. Okay, so this will come up, you just click next, then you go, I accept the terms and license agreement. I don't really read it, but you know, <laughs> go next, then go install. Okay, so now Blender will start to open. It's all completely normal, so don't worry. Okay, so now it is done. So we just have to click finish and it's complete. So now if you saved it onto your desktop, you will be able to open it from there. But if you didn't, all you have to do is go into your folder and then go to your downloads. Okay, so it actually hasn't come up with the right one because they're all still installers so if you're on Windows 8 you just go to your little um, icon thing and then you just type in Blender but you can also do a normal search on your documents and it should find it so there we go we've got Blender. Okay so now you've got this screen the next thing you need to go is you need to install WinRAR so let's go do that. Okay so now we just have to do the exact same thing we have to say we agree to the license and agreement just click OK and here it is. So it's done already. So all you have to do is just keep it there. You don't even need to do anything with it. Just don't delete anything. Just leave it there. It's all good. You can close this if you want to and it's fine. As long as it's installed onto a computer, you don't need to touch anything. So now what you need is you need the Timmy's Blender Rig. Now we've downloaded it already. So here it is. That's all you need to do with that. And then we just open up Blender and we need to have our WinRAR file. So see how it changes it to WinRAR now? not the normal folder system. So now all we have to do is drag the top one into Blender. And there we have it, Timmy's Minecraft rig. So obviously you want your own skin. Click Reload Trusted at the top. And then you just need, you can drag this out so you can see more. So then you just have to right click on the head with your mouse or your keypad. And then all these other options will come up down here. So you want to scroll across, so just scroll with this button. And then you need to click the bronze circle, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 away from the camera over here at the start. Then you just have to click that. It is a lot of information, so it will freeze for a second, even say not responding. And you just need to give it a minute to get all the information downloaded. And there we have it. So now we just have to scroll down from this little icon that we clicked on. And then you just have to click this X. Now this will go white and that's okay, that's what it's supposed to. Then you click open and you have to have a skin file. Now the skins that 
all messed up. I'll get an example up. A skin that has this pattern, that it's all jangled up, stuff like that, as pixel crushes. So they can't look like they actually, they can't look like this, like the actual body of the skin. They have to have the skin pattern. I'm going to go to where you saved your skin, your Minecraft skin, and then you just open it. And now you have it. So you have your own Minecraft skin in Blender. So the way I'm moving around, I'm just holding down my scroll button and moving my mouse and you can I don't know if you can do it without a mouse honestly but now what you want to do is you need to scroll out and find this camera thing now the way I'm selecting it is I'm just right clicking on it and that selects it so now I need to hold down my right click a thing and <laughs> pull it along with my mouse and to drop it I just release right and then click with left and it stays there but you need this this is your camera so you need to face it to your character if you want it to be in the picture so now what you need to do is you need to click R if you're on Windows and then you can move it up and down just tapping R and then moving your mouse. So then you click left to release it and make it stay in the same place. Now if you don't like something you've done you can just click Ctrl Z. So now we need to click R so we can move it to the right position and then you can click double tap R and that'll make it go to another setting of moving. It is a little bit fiddly when you first start Blender with the camera because you've got to get it to the right spot to make sure you get your whole skin in it. You can move it really close so you just get the face or all the way back to get the body. You can move it side on, just whatever you need. Also, if you want to drag it down, you just hold it, bring it down, and then let go, release with left. Remember, always using your right clicker and then let go of left. You can also move it like that and bring it down. Oh my god. <laughs> And bring it down. So as soon as you're happy with the position you got it in, make sure it's lined up with your skin. Make it quite low if you want to get the whole body so it comes across. Okay, so now you've got your skin. So zoom in with your little scrolling button. Just go forwards. And now we can start working on the pose we want our skin to be. Now, there is many different ways you can do this. So I'm going to right click on my hand. You just press right click and then you hold right and you can pull up your hand. Just releasing letting go with left click otherwise it will take it back to how it was so do that and then left click and it'll stay there i'm going to keep doing that until i get it to the position i want it to be so now we can do that to the other arm sometimes it's easier sometimes it's really hard you just have to keep fiddling with it okay, so now i've got my arm sorted you can right click the top and then press r and you can move them out like this i'll keep my arm out there and then if you want the other side of the arm to be facing you just click R twice, make sure you're still selecting the arm, and you can drag it out. So just keep fiddling with it, and then if you want to move your legs, just select the bottom and you can move it out whichever way you want, just dragging it, holding down right click. And you can just release with right, and then hold down with the left. Sometimes you'll select the wrong thing, just remember, keep practicing with it. And if you want the leg to move out, and the right spot with this red thing, you can move it out like that. So I'm going to keep mine like that. It's a little bit of awkward pose with the legs, but you can always backspace and fix it up. And you can also move it out like that, but I don't know why you'd want that. Okay, so now you can also move your head, just selecting the head area. And you click R, you can move it side to side. And then you click double tap R. And you can move it out like this. I'm going to keep mine like that. I'm going to move it back. There you go. Okay, so you can also select your body and move it like this. Which is, I find it really funny, honestly. I'm going to keep mine like, like that. So we go. So now you've got your pose with your skin and now we can render it. So make sure you've got your camera in the right spot. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go over to the sidebar and click the first one, the camera. Then you scroll down. Now, if you want this to have a nothing on the background, so you can put it on pictures without having the white. All you have to do is click transparent if you don't want that if you don't if you want it to have white background just don't click it so now you want to scroll back up and all you have to do is click render now your skin will start showing up on the screen it may be really slow it might be really fast depending on the type of computer you have now mine is being very slow okay so now it's just fixing up the background so don't worry if nothing so wait until the time stops and then you can save it. Okay, so now your render is finished and all you do to save it is just go down to image and click save as image. I'm going to save mine into my renders and I'm just going to call it for video and save. 
And now you're done. So now you can put this on any picture you want. I use PicMonkey. All you have to do is insert an overlay and go to your folder and put it in. And then you can add a background and everything you want. So I hope you guys all did learn from this. If there is a lot of problems and you guys can't figure it out, that's completely fine. Just tell me in the comments and I might make another video or just answer your question. Now, thank you guys for watching. I really hope this did help. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you did get information from this video and it really did help you. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!